Hello, this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making some T-bone steaks in my cast iron. So I have the steak right here. I'm going to be using some unsalted butter. Also some kosher salt. Some Himalaya pink salt with black pepper and garlic. And here I have thyme, garlic and rosemary. I'm going to be using avocado oil because it has a higher smoke point than most of the plant-based oil. You can heat it up to 520 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is one of the most efficient ones when you want to sear or grill. The first thing you want to do is to blot all the water. So just take your paper towel and just blot it and I'm going to flip it around and do the same on the other side because we're going to sear the steak. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. I brought it from the grocery store and had it sitting out for an hour because I don't want it to be cold. The next thing to do, make sure do not use the fine salt or black pepper. You can use the um, flaky salt or you can use the kosher salt. So I'm going to be generous with my salt because when you start to sear it, some of it will come out in the pan. Put it aside. Now I'm going to add the Himalaya salt. I told you it had the garlic and the coarse black pepper in there. Had it in the steak. Flip it around and do the same thing. It's not going to be salty because, like I said, some of the salt will come out when you start to sear it in your cast iron and I like to put it where the fat is here I'm gonna put some on yeah. now let's go on to making these t-bone steaks my cast iron is hot and I'm gonna put my avocado oil you have to make sure it is hot and I'm just going to take my brush and stir it around and I'm going to put in my steak. Make sure you let it sear, don't move it around as it's trying to sear but you don't want gravy, you just want it to sear up. If your steak is like an inch or an inch and a half and you want it rare, you can do it about 6 to 11 minutes. If you want it medium rare, you can do it between 8 to 13 minutes. And if you want it medium well, do it about 11 to 16 minutes. So I like my medium well. I've had it going about 3 minutes and I'm going to add some of my thyme and my rosemary in there and also some of my whole garlic my 
plastic has been in there four minutes. I still haven't turned it. I'm just putting some of the oil on the top. And it's continuing to steer. It's been six minutes. And I'm just going to turn it around. So it's been 10 minutes and I want to make sure that I do the size where the sap is. So I'm just going to turn it a little bit and burn some of that sap on it. I don't poke it with a fork because I don't want the juices to run out. Because after I do I'm going to set it down for about 10 minutes. So this is what I'm using to hold it and do the size. Now that I've done all sides, before I take it out, I'm just going to put some butter on it. And then I'm going to take it out of my skillet. And let it rest for 10 minutes. And I'm going to move on to making the next one. I put the second one in there, and I'm going to repeat the process. And when it's all done, I'll do that. I have both out, and I'm just going to, while it's sitting, I'm just going to put some of my herb butter on it. And let it melt on it. And I will show you on the top of this video how I make my herb butter. In 10 minutes, I will be back. Now I'm about to plate my food. It's lunchtime. I made some mashed potato. I have some string beans and I have my T-bone steak. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button so each time I upload you will be notified. Bye bye.